Early Detection and Prevention of Glaucoma We're a few months into the new year, so it's a little late to be talking about resolutions, but we've got one more to add to this list, get checked for glaucoma. Now, not all of you really need to add this, younger readers aren't really at risk of developing glaucoma in the immediate future, however, if you're over 60 years old, or have a family history of glaucoma, you'd better whip the 2015 list out one more time. Early Detection and Prevention of Glaucoma Glaucoma is a common, often very hard to catch eye disorder. So hard to catch, in fact, that a comprehensive examination is often the only way to definitively diagnose it. Although no one likes to visit the ophthalmologist any more than they have to, early detection of glaucoma is the closest thing you will find to a guarantee of effective treatment. The longer a case goes untreated, the more damage it does and ultimately, the more difficult it is to help someone with it. If you fall into any of the at-risk demographics, we'll go over them below, and even if you don't, consider making time for an appointment sooner rather than later. After all, it may be the one thing that saves your sight. What is glaucoma? Glaucoma is a widely applied term that covers a range of diseases that damage the optic nerve, a part of the eye responsible for relaying visual information to the brain. However, for most intents and purposes, the word refers to one disease primary open-angle glaucoma. Open-angle glaucoma affects as many as 1% of all Americans, many of whom have absolutely no idea that they're living with it. Often referred to as the silent killer of sight, open-angle glaucoma progresses without causing any obvious symptoms, or really any symptoms at all. While the exact causes are still being studied, open-angle glaucoma manifests as very slowly increasing intraocular, within the eye, pressure. As this occurs, the cornea adapts, but does not swell, meaning that the disease can progress without any physical signs. Prolonged exposure to this higher pressure will eventually kill nerve cells in the eye, which causes a glaucoma patient to lose parts of their field of, usually peripheral, vision. Risk Factors Age is often the primary risk factor for development of glaucoma. The older you are, the more likely you are to run into the disease. Risks become particularly pronounced for anyone 60 years of age or older. Race also figures into the conversation. Some ethnic backgrounds are more predisposed to glaucoma. African Americans have an elevated chance to contract glaucoma, and also tend to do so at younger ages, and should start scheduling exams after age 40. Mexican and Asian Americans should also be extra wary of glaucoma. As with many other diseases, family history is also important. If you have relatives, particularly close relatives, who have developed the disease, you yourself are likely at greater risk as well. Other factors may also be important in determining risk. Diabetics often have damaged blood vessels in their eyes, a problem that can lead to impaired blood flow, followed by an increase in intraocular pressure. Hypertension may also stack the odds against you. Various eye disorders can indicate a potentially at-risk eye, nearsightedness, myopia, farsightedness, hyperopia, eye inflammation or injury, and certain types of eye surgery have all been identified as red flags. Diagnosis The sneaky progression of glaucoma makes it highly unlikely for a sufferer to diagnose themselves. Closed-angle glaucoma, a different variant of the disease, can announce itself with an incredibly painful acute closure. Still, closed angle accounts for only 10% of glaucoma cases, while open angle, the much more common version, is completely painless. Loss of peripheral vision can be a sign of advancing glaucoma, but it happens much too slowly for an average glaucoma patient to notice. No, the only sure way to catch glaucoma is schedule regular exams. The advised frequency of these visits vary depending on risk factors, but as a general rule, individuals older than 40 should begin scheduling occasional visits. Over 65, exams should be conducted every two years, and possibly even more frequently if the person is deemed to be at risk. Once inside an ophthalmologist's office, glaucoma becomes a little easier to catch. A physician can test intraocular pressure, field division, corneal thickness, and do a fluid tracking test called a gonioscopy. And after a case is detected, treatment can begin. Treating Glaucoma While there's no full cure for glaucoma, early treatment can control the disease, halting its progression and giving extra years of healthy vision to a patient. Prescribed eye drops and pills can both effectively reduce the buildup of pressure within the eye. If taken consistently, 
this is often enough to keep an advancing case at bay without taking more drastic measures. If drastic measures are called for, surgery is the go-to solution. Laser surgery either relies on either increasing the drainage capacity of an eye, or damaging its ability to manufacture more fluid. The net result of either method is hopefully a reduction in the volume of liquid in the eye. If laser surgery fails, traditional surgery is the next step. Surgeons seek to create new drainage paths for fluid, or to implant small drainage devices. In any case, it's important to note that early treatment is vital. Increasing intraocular pressure isn't a death knell for healthy sight, but it has to be controlled quickly. If left unchecked, the damage it does to nerves in the eye is completely irreversible. Sometimes, it's best not to delay that exam. If you find yourself checking off a few of the risk factors listed above, then it's time to call in and schedule an eye exam. What are the health benefits of dried goji berries? Goji berries, a fruit that comes from the Chinese Lycium barbarum plant, have been used as a traditional medicine for general health, and recent studies suggest there is a real evidence for its purported benefits. Many types of berries offer beneficial antioxidants that protect the body against chronic disease, and goji berries may contain additional properties to improve eye health. Improved Feelings of Well-Being According to a study published in May 2008 in the Journal of Alternative and Complementary Medicine, drinking juice derived from goji berries has a positive effect on overall well-being. Study participants drank goji berry juice daily for a period of 15 days, reporting perceived levels of energy, quality of sleep and feelings of happiness. After 15 days, both the goji berry group and the placebo group reported higher levels of happiness, but the goji berry group also reported improved energy levels, lower fatigue, lower stress and improved digestive function. While these measures are subjective, the findings are statistically significant. Protection from UV radiation The juice derived from goji berries can reduce the amount of damage done by ultraviolet radiation. According to a study published in January 2010 in Photochemical and Photobiological Sciences, mice that consumed goji berry juice had a significantly reduced inflammatory sunburn response to prolonged simulated ultraviolet radiation. Researchers believe that some of the antioxidants found in goji berries are responsible for this protection, preventing the oxidative damage that would otherwise induce the inflammatory response. Protection of Eye Health According to a study published in February 2011 in Optometry and Vision Science, daily supplementation of goji berries over the course of 90 days significantly aids in the prevention of soft drusen and accumulation in the eyes of elderly patients, an early warning sign of age-related macular degeneration. This exact mechanism behind this effect is currently unclear. Doreen, a compound found in goji berries, is also beneficial in slowing the development of eye conditions related to diabetes. Cancer Fighting Properties Small, fleshy berries like the goji berry contain antioxidant compounds known as polyphenols that could protect against the development of cancer. These antioxidants fight against, diminish and repair cell damage that results from inflammation and oxidative stress from free radicals, preventing the likelihood of cancerous tumor development. Antioxidants like those in goji berries may also improve the effectiveness of chemotherapy by weakening tumor cells, reports a study published in 2008 in the Journal of Agricultural and Food Chemistry. Yumberry, the super high antioxidant subtropical fruit from China that will make America say yum. First it was pomegranates, the once obscure fruit that now is showcased in antioxidant rich fruit juices sold across the United States. Then acai berries and goji berries entered the superfood market, drawing people looking for tasty and nutritious additions to their diet. Yum berries range in color from white to pink, red and purple, but the purple variety is said to taste the best. In 2008, a new powerhouse berry is set to hit the health food scene, and it's one that may easily take over the market, yum berries. Yum berries, the new name for yang mei fruit, have been grown and enjoyed in China for thousands of years. They look a little bit like a raspberry with a sweet sour flavor similar to cranberry and pomegranate juice. Their texture is unique, slightly stringy like the flesh of citrus fruit, with a pit in the center. Although the fresh berries, which rumor has it are delicious, cannot be imported into the United States because of pest concerns, yumberry fruit juice has already reached U.S. supermarket shelves, and products are slated to grow significantly in 2008. You can expect to see yumberry juice mixed with other fruit juices such as cherry 
blueberry and pomegranate. Like these other dark colored juices, yumberry juice is rich in antioxidants like proanthocyanidins and contains many vitamins including vitamin C, thymine, riboflavin, and carotene. Yumberries may also be featured in slightly unorthodox products, such as wines, cocktails, bakery goods and even dairy products. Fresh yumberries aren't available in the United States, but juiced forms are already on hand in stores. Healthy Reasons to Give Yumberry a Try Yumberries are rich in oligomeric proanthocyanidins, OPC, which are antioxidants that give the fruit their color. These powerful compounds may fight free radicals. OPC is said to fight oxidation 50 times better than vitamin E and 20 times better than vitamin C. Reduce your blood pressure and protect your heart health. Lower bad, LDL, cholesterol. Protect your eyesight and reduce your risk of cataracts. Strengthen your cell membranes. Fight inflammation and associated diseases such as arthritis. Yumberries are also said to help clear up hard to digest food in your stomach, cure stomach aches and dispel summer heat. They have been used since ancient times in China for medicinal purposes, and as early as the 16th century, the well-known herbal pharmacologist Li Shizhen said that yumberries could eliminate sputum, stop vomiting, helpful to digestion and alcoholic drinking, quench thirst, conciliate the five internal organs, cleanse stomach and intestines, remove the muddle-headed, and be efficacious to cure diarrhea. Further, because the trees have a high tolerance to pests and diseases, they are often grown organically or with few pesticides applied to them. While yumberry trees are capable of being cultivated in the United States, particularly in the Southeast, they are not currently being grown for commercial purposes. They are harvested only during a narrow window, from June to July, and they are very perishable, like raspberries, so unless you are traveling to China you are unlikely to find them fresh anytime soon. However, with superfruits like yumberry slated as one of the top 10 food trends to watch for in 2008, you will likely be seeing more and more of this yummy little berry.